Hello fellow engineers, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program again, because last time went so well. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, you may remember my rocket from last time, the uh, the noodle, as some people called it. I thought of a way I might be able to fix it. So uh, you can see Jeb's very, very excited by this. <laughs> so uh, let's get involved. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to start off. We're going to recreate what we had last time. So command pod, check. Safety first parachute check safety second parachute check heat shield check fuel check a big ass engine check and the world's favorite space agency sticker <laughs> check Looks stupid. <laughs> Appropriate name? Check. We're gonna we're gonna see how it launches just as our base test. There she is, standing tall. And uh, oh no, she's starting to go. She's starting to go. Oh god, I think it's too late. It's too late to launch. <laughs> oh dear. Boosh. Uh, right, throttle up. We are a go. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> it is it really looks like a giraffe. Is that just me? Like I swear that's if there was a giraffe that could fly, that would be it. Um Okay, so obviously still needs fixing. Right, it's so my thought I had to fix this. I remember seeing these sort of weird side rocket things. Yeah, so I was thinking these, a Vernor engine. So if I add loads of those, then hopefully I can like sort of stop the top wobbling. So we'll shove those there. <laughs> and let's see if that helps. Uh, yes, I think it does. Ish. Oh God, the rocket fell off. Where's that? It's gone. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Whoa, that's going wall high. I love that those things are trying to do something. I think we're on to something. Right, so I've added a few more. It's trying to correct itself, but it's not quite working. Is it working? Uh, maybe I need to shove a few around the bottom or something. It's definitely trying though. And that's all we care about these days. <laughs> the taking part that counts. Right, I think I also recently installed this other mod where you can play with this, the scale. So you can see as I click that up, my things get bigger. And whether bigger means more power, I do not know. All right, so now we've got this nice armadillo shell <laughs> at the base. And I'm hoping that might stop the whole thing rocking. Here it comes, the million pound question. Oh god. No! No! <laughs> You've just won a million pounds! Right, throttle to the max. Go! Oh. <laughs> um, RCS on. Stability on. Save yourself. Oh, it's off. It's off. Oh god. Okay, not the best, if I'm honest. We need more thrust. I don't know if this is a wise idea, but I'm gonna try and put my boosters on these things. Is that clever? A little bit wonky, might be okay, might be okay. All right, so they're good. They're not, they're just about not touching, which is what you want. Put some nose cones on. There we go, I think we can change the color. Is that what this does? No. Oh wow, yeah, this is better. We got orange. <laughs> Why? Why do I do this to myself? And we've got all the nose cone you could ever want. I've literally made like a pumpkin. Look at that. <laughs> what a mess. Oh dear. We haven't quite got enough thrust. Oh, we are sort of going up. 
We're leaning, though. We're leaning through our weird boob. Ow! Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to add a few struts again, just to uh, stop the old boosters going mental. Okay, so this might actually be sensible now. I might be able to get into the air. And then I can test if my thing worked. The whole point of this, to see if I can stop myself bending. Right, so throttle up. Let's see, can I stop myself bending? That one and that one. Boost. Oh, look, they're working. Oh, no, they're not working. <laughs> Why? Why is the explosion so crazy? Sort of looks like the old uh, portal turret things, doesn't it? Does anyone else see that? The portal turret? I'm going to go back to just what we had like that. I wonder actually if I change the scale. Oh, it changes that number. Do you think that's my weight? Right, I do just wonder before I go too far. If I take this and scale that up, my bottom left number increases massively. So I don't know if that's like the weight has gone up, but like the thrust and stuff hasn't. So let's just see what that does. Ready? Fire! Oh, shit! What happened there? <laughs> what? Literally, what happened? What? Why? Alright, so I'm just going to launch with low throttle. And slow... Oh, it does affect that! Oh! <laughs> so stupid, what have I created? So if I turn on RCS now, it doesn't do anything. Is that because it knows it's doomed? Oh, it's because I ran out of fuel instantly. Because that was such a big rocket. Ah, I see. Oh god, I have destroyed that runway landing strip thing. I didn't even know that was possible in the game. Damn. Okay, I feel like what I did wrong, I shouldn't have made these huge. So I'm going to scale them all back down to 100. Which is quite annoying, because I spent quite a lot of time doing that. Alright, so this is essentially why you shouldn't play with mods until you know how the base game works. Learn from my mistakes. Launch. I reckon this will actually work now. Come on, flaccid McGee. Go. Alright, SAS. It's still going up. It is still going up. Ish. Oh, God. oh, that bit's gone. It's still trying to save itself. <laughs> Alright, sorry, but you are dead now. We're going to try something a bit more sensible. Like an engine the right size for this rocket. So rather than going for mammoth whatever, I'm going for something sensible like that one. It's got a quarter of the thrust, but I think it might be more sensible. So let's try that. Alright, ready? Oik, oik, launch. Yes. Oh, it's, it's trying. It is trying. We're, we're hovering. I think we're, we're, oh, no, we're going down. Hmm. All right, so I think the main problem is I don't have enough of these. I just realized I could have spent this time Googling whether there was a copy and paste function. Patience. Oh, there it is. There's the top. Oh, I thought this would never happen. Right, finally, it's done. Our flag. <laughs> you can still read the flag, it's fine. Oh god, it's like lagging the game out. There's so many. Right, launch. Oh, the sound. The sound. That's horrible. It's not exploding. Oh, yeah, it is. There it goes. There it goes. There goes my frames as well. Ah, oh, some normal sounds. Normal sounds. Well, that's impressive and it's only... Oh, no, Jeb! Jeb, you gotta make it! Oops. Right, so the thing is, we didn't have enough thrust. I'm gonna do my original design. So I need that fuel tank, and then... That fuel tank. And then that engine. Cool, let's see if that's any better. Launch. Right, ready? Throttle up. Launch. Right, we're going up. So RCS on. SAS on. Come on, stay straight. Stay straight. Damn it. No. Oh, it fell off. Oh, I just shot a missile into the launch site. Oh, God, look at it. Jeb is loving life, though. He is absolutely loving it. Representing the Great British Space Federation. Oh, no, he's looking right down. Oh dear. 
We went under the map. Um, Alright, so that didn't work too well. I think... <laughs> I think I'm going to have to call it a defeat. My bendy rocket is too bendy. That's what we can do. We can leave all that as it is. And then apparently there's longer fuel tanks. So less joints should mean less bendage. Bendage? <laughs> okay, so if we literally go straight to a big one. So we want that. And then that. And then what's the longest? Alright, so that's pretty damn long. <laughs> Giggity goo. Well, actually, what we can do... Yes! What we can do is grab another one of those, which is... What one was it? That one. And then we can scale it. It doesn't quite fit, but it's okay. And then another one! Make that orange! And scale... Hang on. Sc okay, not the best. That's okay, that's fine. And then we can get another one and make that orange! And scale that. Right, now we are cooking on gas. Because now we can add the long tanks, which were these ones. And we can scale those. My god. The trouble is, we've run out of hangar space. <laughs> um, however, I've been a bit sneaky. So if I were to scroll up, I installed another mod. We have infinite hangar. Uh, annoyingly, I can't zoom out anymore, so I'm just going to have to scroll my mouse. I, I think I can... I've got a button on my mouse wheel where I can unlock. Yeah, there you go. So now I can literally just spin my mouse wheel like... Whee! <laughs> Whee! I'm going to keep adding fuel tanks for now. Alright, so I definitely cannot make that any higher it seems so i might have to move this one i don't know i'll try and build the engine underground so engine we want this one and we want to scale that the hell up to there all right so let's just see if that works i imagine i'm gonna to have to add a crap ton of boosters but let's see what happens oh god even this is taking ages to run this might have crashed my game <laughs> i swear that loading symbol the thing is used to spin around there's a lot of fan noise coming from my computer <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're alive! We are alive! For some reason, we're not on the launch pad, but that, that's fine. <laughs> and it's not going anywhere. So we're going to need boosters. Oversized boosters. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I've built my rocket out over there. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I don't know how to get it back indoors. Oh, now my rocket's even further away. <laughs> Please come back. Right, so we're going to launch on the secret launch pad over there. Uh, not entirely sure how I'm going to add boosters to this, because I can't see a freaking thing. I'll tell you one thing though, they're not going to be decoupled. They're literally just going to go on the side. Right click, make them bigger. There you go, at least I can sort of see what's going on. Right, more boosters then. So far away. I'm going to have to bloody strut this as well, aren't I? Crap. I think I've found a way to make my rocket taller. <laughs> Beat the system. It might... I'm worried the flames might explode the ones underneath. So I might just try that and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I have no idea where this is going to be. If it's going to be anywhere near the launch pad. I don't even know if it's going to load. We'll give it a few minutes, eh? Hey? Oh, it loaded and then didn't load. I think it started in the air. Ah... I haven't even pressed launch yet. My eyes. My eyes. Okay, Jeb's still alive somewhere. Spot the Jeb. Is that him there? Oh, look there. <laughs> uh, parachute. Parachute. Quick, we can save him. We can save him. Yes! Was that a successful launch? What is going on up there? <laughs> I've broken space time. But we survived a successful launch today. Finally. Revert to launch. I'm going to try and launch it straight away. I've got to pay attention. I got bored of the black screen. Alright, ready? Space. Shift up. Yes. Yes! What the frig? Why are the flames from the boosters so... Oh no. They weren't attached. They weren't attached. Oh, one's decided to blow up. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Um, okay, I think that's a bit of a fail. Don't know where my actual rocket bit is. I can't get any closer. Oh god. Oh god. Ow! 
or something made it to space. I think Jeb's, I think badness happened. I'm going to try a different approach. I think technically if I just make loads of boosters, I can do a rocket proper. So deleted that rocket. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're back. We're back. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Right, anyway, we're going as high as we can with this. That's about there. We're going to put the largest parachute that I can on for a bit of safety. I'm going to do just a normal parachute, but big. <laughs> I am literally terrified of those explosive bolts now. <laughs> right, actually, I'm going to make the world safe. Screw doing this tallest rocket nonsense. <laughs> I'm just going to make the world's safest rocket. Obviously, I've done that in the past, but I think I can improve. I can make it safer. All right, so heat shield. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gonna save the entire rocket. Anyway, uh, then a decoupler. Then we want fuel. So that one, and that one, and then a big mofo. I'm not gonna scale it. I'm gonna keep it sensible. All right, so I've added my fuel, and now I can add my engine. So again, keep with the mammoth. I think that's always a good way to go. <laughs> I've finally done it. I've finally done it. <laughs> Alright, so starting here, they are monopropellant tanks. They're very, very important in this build. And then it goes quite a long way up. And then we got the safety of our parachute. So we know we're going to be safe. So launch should be successful, I reckon. If it loads. I have a feeling actually that parachute might be quite heavy. We might get the old tilt going on. Right, ready? <laughs> launch! Oh no! We don't have enough power! <laughs> It seems to be pretty rigid. Oh no, it is leaning. It's leaning. It's leaning. Oh no. Abandon! Oh, he exploded straight away! What the? Right, I'm gonna revert to launch. Alright, question is, is this safe? Because I assume we're gonna fall off at some point. Parachute is deployed. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we've just base jumped off of our rocket. <laughs> What speed are we moving at? Two and a half meters a second. That's nuts. That's absolutely insane. Anyway, I've got to get into space at least once in this episode, surely. Eight huge ass boosters with nose cones because I'm not a savage beast. And then some strutage because I'm a professional KSP player. Right, I think we're good. Should all be fine this time. Right, we're in. Launch. Oh no, there's something happening. I can see nose cones everywhere. Oh god, I have no idea what happened there. Literally not a clue. <laughs> Alright, come on, we've just got to launch. We've got to get in space. It's getting silly now. Yes, we're going up. We're going up. Yes, it's working. Finally. Ow. Right, we've decoupled. We're fine. We're fine. We're still going. Oh no, our parachutes come off. We're not fine. We're not fine at all. We are really not fine. Bollocks. <laughs> oh no. What the hell is that one doing? <laughs> oh, it landed quite softly. Right, I'm going to imp for zoom out. Whoa, space. There you go, we made space. This counts as getting into space. <laughs> oh, so look, if you look here, my solid booster collided into the decoupler. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> They're meant to be attached to each other. Anyway, next episode, I'm going to stick with bridges, I think. I'm going to build a bridge down here and maybe take that bridge into space. We'll see. But anyway, guys, peace, love, and bridges. I will build a bridge next time. It's going to be good. Bye. Bye.